I'm going to be demonstrating a chestnut paling machine. Um, this is a chestnut paling machine. It comes from around here. It comes from Kent, um, which is why we're here today. We actually make paling and chestnut products in Herefordshire. Um, we fell all the chestnut ourselves from Thriftwood. This came from, which is um, woodlands behind Ledbury. Um, and then we cleave it by hand, or we've got some palers who make us palings, and we pay them a piece rate. Um, and then we go to the process of putting it on the fence. So we're actually making it upside down. So when, when it's installed, it's installed the other way up. And you twist it on the wire. And then the next twist, after the next paling, I'm going to twist it the other way. So it undoes the twist that I've just put in this, this wire here to get the tension right. It's a great, great type of fencing. And it comes in 10 yard rolls, so it's fully portable and you can roll it up and you can carry it and you can move it. Because it's a handmade affair, we can do any heights, but generally it comes in three foot, three foot six, um, and four foot. And again, we can do three wires or two, depending on what your use is. And we can do closer spacing or further apart spacing. In an hour, we'll tend to do um, between two or three rails, dep um, rolls, depending on how many wires to feed the paling through. It does take longer when you're feeding it through um, three, three wires. Now it's sadly replaced generally um, with that plastic orange netting, um, orange plastic stuff, but it's also light and easy to use and you can roll up, but uh, not quite the same, I think you'll agree. We get a lot of orders for people who want to keep their, um, their sheep out or their chickens in um, because of the spiky tops, which are these. Um, things don't like jumping over it or flying over it. It's also used for events, round chainsaw carvers, or you know, to, to stop public temporarily because it's quick and easy to put up, um, and you can roll it up, and it'll it'll last years and years and years. Sweet chestnut is renowned for its durability. Um, it's got a very high tanning content, but very little sapwood, unlike oak. Um, so there's very little waste. Um, all our wood comes from coppiced. Um, um, wood in Herefordshire. Uh, there's a lot of sweet chestnut in Kent but there's also some in Herefordshire. We fell it um, into lengths and then we cleave it um, or we pay people to cleave it. Um, it has to be hand cleft so it follows the grain so it retains all the strength of the tree. If, if it's sawn you're going to be compromising that so it is a lengthy um, procedure but it's, it's necessary. That's why this kind of girth wood can last 20, 30 years, possibly a lot longer. Sayitwithwood.co.uk is our new website to find out more and to find out about pricings and so on of chestnut paling and other chestnut products.